Kuretake came out with these empty pens. They call it um, for you to use uh, your fountain pen inks in. This is a, a Karapo pen that is, it comes with a wick, right? And these are uh, pens that come with cartridges. That's not the only difference. The other differences would be in the tip. So you, do, you can see that um, you have brush, brush type, fine brush tips, and these are more like flexible, rubberish uh, tip. And this pen has a 0.4mm fine plastic tip. With the cartridge, you also have something like that. And you also have the brush, brush pen. So this is probably what I think are more like um, useful for painting. And this is pro these are probably good for like drawing and hopefully we can get a little bit of like a line variation uh, with this pen, the fine brush here. Alright, so in today's video, I'm going to show you how I am, how to fill these pens up. Uh, we will see if, if, you know, whether we can put in everything that, any kind of inks that we want. Um, so for the cartridge pen, it also comes with, a, you know, a separate set of a, a five uh, empty cartridges that you can buy and there's also a way to sort of stopper it and bring it out uh, and store it in the pen uh, you know as a reservoirs of uh, ink so I'll show you how, how that, that can be done so yeah let's dive into uh, you know using these pens uh, for, for, for painting <laughs> using fountain pen inks so the first type of uh, pen uh, is the, the pens with the um, disposable wick. So they're supposed to be disposable, meaning you will not be able to reuse these pens because once you put that stopper in, there's no way you can take it out uh, without damaging the pen. I think I got this pretty late, so they already have the English uh, uh, explanation and instruction, so you just need to follow the instruction. I wouldn't suggest using them uh, for shimmering inks because I think they, these have got particles in them so there's no way I do not think it's able your, your wick is able to like take up any of these uh, shiny particles through we could test it with the pastel blue because pastel blue also has some there's also some particles uh, if you can if you notice I have about uh, 2 ml of this uh, pastel blue from Vinta ink and I will attempt to fill this up it comes with an end cap like this there's this little cute uh, you know, sticker that you can actually put on your pen uh, when it's done. This is the body, okay? So this is the tip of the pen. This is like the uh, fine tip. It's not even felt tip, I think it's just a plastic tip. Alright, and then this is the wick that's supposed to go into the ink. Uh, according to the instruction, you are supposed to fill it up to about 80%. So it shouldn't, you shouldn't saturate the whole thing. It should actually go up to here. Feels kind of like nervous right now. <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna drop it in. Oh, and let's start and see how long it would take to uh, suck everything. I hope it would take up the uh, particles, you know, the, the shiny particles. But I doubt it. <laughs> I don't think it would happen. Alright, and I'm just going to take this out. Okay, right. Looks pretty cool. Um, and I'm just going to drop it down, right, like now. Okay, alright. And I think it has taken a good 1.5 milliliter. So I started off with 2 mil, and now I'm left with like 0.5. And I don't think the particles went in. <laughs> As you can see, the particles, the shiny particles are all uh, at the bottom. Right, and then uh, what you need to do, just need to put in the end cap, right? Push it in. Ugh. All right. Yeah, so this is the color, pastel blue. This is like a... Uh, unicorn color shifting ink. It's supposed to go up to the, the cap over here. Let's put it at the cap. Ah, look, okay. So this is how, how you fill a pen like so fast. Okay, so we can actually continue to fill in our other pens. We will attempt to, to fill, fill these two. They are much easier than this one. Uh, if you are into fountain pen and uh, you know about filling fountain pen, uh, filling up this pen, these uh, two cartridge type pens shouldn't be very different from what you already know. This is the brush pen and this is the uh, fine tip pen. And they all come, they also come with a, a, a plastic pipette, right? It's for you to fill up the cartridges. So in each pen, um, it comes with two cartridges that are empty, right? And there's these two like metal balls. Don't lose the balls, okay? Let's see if it's possible to get any of those uh, shimmering particles to, to, to come out from the pen uh, in the cartridge type. I am using the ink from uh, Robert Oster, right? And this is the Rose Gold Antica. Okay, 
So it has very beautiful, fine, shiny particles. So I'm just going to pipette out a small amount. So it's made such that you can slot this in and you can fill it. After filling it, just make sure that you clean off uh, the tap, the top, right? With the dab it off with a tissue. And remember, we have these little metal balls, right? Metal pellets. Uh, you just have to plug it to the top like that. As long as you feel like it's kind of tight, um, there's no like leakage. It doesn't feel like there's any leakage. It's fine. And what you can do here then is to bring this out inside your the body of your pen, and you can bring it out for drawing. To use the cartridge, just push it into the nib unit. The, the, the metal pellet is here and you push it in like that, all right? So you'll hear click sound um, and it should work. You know, you can reuse this cartridge, but you won't be able to bring it around. It's not possible to reseal it. It's possible to reuse these uh, cartridge pens. Uh, you just need to wash them and uh, wash them out in, in the tap water. And you can also reuse the cartridges. Uh, all you need to do is to just rinse them out and let it dry and fill it with another color when you wish to. But of course, you have to use it fresh. So this is the Karapo pen, uh, the weak type where the tip is a fine 0.4mm nib. Uh, the nib is quite rigid, so uh, you can really do a lot of uh, line variation. So this pen, um, the weak type, fine 0.4mm, is probably good for just normal writing. So if you're into uh, using, uh, you know, this is good for like school, uh, for office work because the pen, uh, the, the, it's a, it's a 0.4mm and uh, it's very consistent, um, very nice, very smooth to write on. So uh, quite a good pen. I, I'm, I'm, I'm quite um, regretting that I actually use a, a very f uh, a faint in ink in this one because I think I would actually enjoy writing with this one. Next is this uh, pen that is the fine brush. So this is the weak type. Right, fine brush. This one also f is also very nice to write in. And as you can see, there is a bit of variation. Uh, if you do calligraphy, uh, you can probably coax it to write even better. Okay. And uh, you can see the line variation here with the, this line looking, looking thicker. And then especially like here, can you see how much you can flex it? So it, it, the downstroke can, can be small, uh, can be thicker than the upstroke. So if you want to use this for drawing, in fact, I think I, I, I'm so in love with this pen that I'm actually using it for drawing. So if you like to use this, this pen, uh, the fine brush can be used for drawing and it does give you a bit of a uh, line variation. I have high hopes that we could actually uh, use this for shimmering inks. But I think if you look at the um, lettering, how, how the inks come out, I don't see the, the shimmering particles coming out at all. So yeah. Unfortunately, these pens, you can't, you can't get a lot of shimmer, like you can't get the shimmer inks to really work. So this one, um, I, I use, I, when I saw this pen, uh, the cartridge type fine brush type pen, um, I thought that it would actually behave like the, the uh, fine 0.4mm, but it doesn't. So it is very similar to the fine brush. It is slightly thicker, it's slightly, you can actually get slightly thicker lines. And um, the good thing is that it's, it's a cartridge and it's not disposable, so you can actually clean it. You can wash this pen, like what you do in a, in a fountain pen, and you can refill it with another ink. I also quite enjoy writing with this one. So the final one is actually a brush. So this one just says uh, Maupi, all right? I think it just means brush, okay? So it's cartridge type. I am not sure how I'm going to write. I think I spelled wrongly cartridge cartridge type brush okay and uh, this is a brush pen so if you are like into drawing or writing painting with a 
brush pen this is the pen that you you should go for because uh, it behaves like one and I think Hiretake have very good uh, pens in general they make a lot of these disposable pens that you can uh, use and I think it's very interesting that they actually thought about coming up with uh, you know uh, interesting concept where you can feel your own inks so of course for the brush you get awesome crazy flex um, variation because this is a brush uh, of course you can also use it for painting so as you can see yeah you can just use it for painting as well in this segment i'll show you how you can paint uh, a dreamy wisteria scene uh, with with these pens and a bit of water wet the paper with water I filled the cartridge type brush pen with the uh, Sailor Ink Studio number 123. It is a unicorn color shifting ink. This ink separates out into various degrees of purple and green color. I filled the cartridge type fine brush pen with diluted bleach. Uh, I mix one is to one household bleach with tap water and I mix small dots on on the wisteria branches to make the flowers. The bleach will discolor the ink laid down by the cartridge brush pen. I then draw uh, fallen petals below the wisteria tree uh, with a weak type 0.4mm fine nib pen that I, I had earlier filled with uh, pastel blue ink. Let the piece dry and uh, make the petals more obvious with more bleach. And then draw the tree trunks using the weak type fine brush pen filled with say boku ink. Finally, complete the piece with a wisteria coat. If you want to try using fountain pen inks, but you do not have a fountain pen, or if you prefer fine brush or brush pen, you can give these empty pens a try. Thanks for watching, like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye!